The moment of truth continues. Your $25,000 moment of truth is right now. Question 11. As an EMT, have you ever touched a female patient more than your job requires? No, I actually never have. That answer is... true. Yeah! You have $25,000 and a little more sweat on your brow than you did at $10,000. So, I'm just gonna let you know the situation. You only have to be truthful four more times. And if you're truthful, $25,000 turns into $100,000. What do you want to do? Are we going to play or are we going to stop? Keep going. Keep going. It's up to you, Aaron. I'm going to go for it. All right. If you win $100,000, that certainly is going to impact your immediate future, as you've mentioned. Are you happy with where you are in your life right now? Kind of. Um, unfortunately, I'm back home with parents. Question 12. Do you feel like a failure because you had to move back in with your parents? Yes, I do. That answer is true. The 12th truthful answer. Do you go out a lot with your friends? Oh, I used to go clubbing all the time. I love to dance. <laughs> Question 13. Since you've dated Nicole, have you ever given your number to another woman? Yes, I have. That answer is true. Well, that's your 13th truthful answer, so I guess that's a good thing. You are that much closer to $100,000, but now it sort of begs the question, is it worth revealing this stuff for that kind of money? Nicole, you could have stopped that answer. There are things to talk about, obviously. But, you know, I, I... <laughs> Didn't feel like hitting the button? No. Wanted to hear the answer? Yeah. Anything you'd like to say about that? I'd, really, I'd rather not. Okay. You can still stop me before I get to the question. You talked about you were raised uh, as Mormon, right? Yeah. Nicole, are you Mormon? No, I'm Jewish. Is that a challenge for you guys a little bit? Uh. Kind of, yeah. Question 14. Do you think your parents dislike your girlfriend, Nicole, because of her religion? Yes, I do. That answer is... I know for a fact that they would prefer me to be Mormon, obviously, and for me to date a Mormon girl. These are going to get tougher. I know. <laughs> okay. You're telling me. The next question is going to be extremely personal. If, however, you choose to have me read it, 
and you're able to answer this one truthfully, you'll reach your goal of $100,000. So let's keep going. We'll keep going. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. Question 15. Would you marry Nicole even if it meant you would never speak to your family again? The moment of truth will continue. of truth continues. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. Question 15. Would you marry Nicole even if it meant you would never speak to your family again? No, I wouldn't. That answer is... True. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Aaron Dunbar, congratulations. You have just earned yourself $100,000. choose to go on, you will have to answer three more questions truthfully, and while that sounds like a small number, you know how tough those questions can be. If you're able to do that, you will win $200,000. That being said, only takes one lie, and your $100,000 is gone. Mom and Dad, what would you say right now? I would tell them to stop right now. You'd say now. stop right it's now. It's guaranteed. It, it's guaranteed. It, it would take them four years to make them. It's only your decision. It is your moment of truth. Are you going to walk out of here with $100,000 right now? Or are we going for $200,000? What do you want to do? I cannot risk $100,000, so I have to walk away. Yeah! Aaron Dunbar, congratulations, you just won $100,000. $100,000. Oh, my God. Aaron Dunbar has $100,000. He also has a beautiful family. I have a vacancy right here, and I'm committed to giving away $500,000. Will our next participant be the one? Let's find out. Mary Beth Grace is a 39-year-old volunteer firefighter from South Huntington, New York. She has been married to her husband for 13 years and is a stay-at-home mother of three boys. She was asked over 50 questions by a polygraph examiner. 21 have been chosen for tonight. Mary Beth Grace, this is your moment of truth. Hi. Welcome, Mary Beth. Hi. How are you feeling? Good. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Have a seat. Mary Beth Grace, you're here. Mm -hmm. Hands are a little cold. Are you nervous? Um, yeah, very nervous. I can yeah. understand being nervous. Look, I'll do everything I can to try to help you relax and enjoy the experience. All right, Mary Beth, you're not only telling the truth in front of all of America and our studio audience, but you have family and friends here as well. Let's meet them. I'm Mark. I'm Phil, Mary Beth's husband. Hello, Phil. Hi, Mark. I'm Richie, her father-in-law. Hi, Mark. I'm Mary Louise, Mary Beth's friend. Glad to have you all here. I just want to warn you that the questions can be very personal. Do you think you're up to the task? Yes. Hope so. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm -hmm. In that case, let's get to it. <laughs> this is it. You're at level one. Level one has six questions, Mary Beth. All you have to do is answer all six truthfully, and you win $10,000. <laughs> Remember, if you're ever concerned about the answers you gave on your polygraph exam, you can change them tonight, okay? Just be careful. Know your truth, tell the truth, win money. Okay. How many kids do you have? Three boys. So you're busy. You're just glad to be here and have a, a moment of rest. A little bit. It's like a yeah. little... 
mini vacation right now. <laughs> Question one. Have you ever given something to your kids that you shoplifted from a store? Oh. <laughs> Good boy. It, uh, yeah, I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that answer is true. Well, you have one truthful answer. Normally, you start out easy, but that wasn't so easy. What did you chop with? Well, oh, it could be anything. It could have been a lollipop. It could have been a book. It could, it could have been like a little flower off an Yeah, it could have been, but what was it? I, 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 it happens all the time. It happens all the time. Phil, did, did you know you got a uh, amateur kleptomaniac? I know. I bet you'll be posting up all over the place yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. You got one truthful, five more, you win $10,000. Are you a good neighbor? I think I'm a very good neighbor. I understand you're a volunteer firefighter. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, by virtue of that alone, I would consider you a good neighbor if you were in my neighborhood. I'd be thrilled to have Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Question two. Have you ever deliberately started a fire that damaged someone else's property? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, uh, well, uh, yeah. You have? Yes, I have. Oh! That answer is true. <laughs> That's two. Yeah. Somebody upset me and hurt me really badly. Yes. A neighbor. And I just took something of theirs and what I What did said, you take? It was like a bunch of pictures. Like I just took like a photo album and I just burned the whole photo album. Okay. Well that's two truthful answers. Did Four you know more. That? You and know um, I give you ten thousand dollars. What is the best part about being a volunteer firefighter? Um just knowing that you're giving back to the community. And I mean a woman in what is traditionally a man's world, that's gotta be a challenge as well. It's not too bad. The guys are accepting, the guys are pretty cool. Question three. Do you volunteer at the fire station because you like getting attention from men other than your husband? Yes. That answer is true. Three truthful, halfway to ten thousand dollars. You get a lot of attention at the firehouse. I don't really think I do. I just, you know, I'm just like a, I'm a flirt. I'm just a flirty person. You, you know this, Richie, about your daughter. Yeah, now we got an arsonist, a klepto, and a flirt. <laughs> Three questions in, and we're having a little fun. These are actually the easy questions. They're going to get a little tougher. And I want to let you, Mary Louise, and Phil know that that button is yours to use if I ask a question at any time that you don't want to hear the answer to, hit the button, we will stop it then, I'll replace it with a new question. So be careful, you can only use it once. Okay, love your family. Thank you, right? Yes, <laughs> Mary Louise is a friend, but sort of like family, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah? Question four. Have you ever stolen anything from a relative's house? Um. The Moment of Truth will continue. The Moment of Truth continues. Your $25,000 Moment of Truth is right now. Question 11. As an EMT, have you ever touched a female patient more than your job requires? No, I actually never have. That answer is... true. Yeah! You have $25,000 and a little more sweat on your brow than you did at $10,000. So, just gonna let you know the situation. You only have to be truthful. True.
I know for a fact that they would prefer me to be Mormon, obviously, and for me to date a Mormon girl. These are going to get tougher. I know. <laughs> okay. You're telling me. The next question is going to be extremely personal. If, however, you choose to have me read it, and you're able to answer this one truthfully, you'll reach your goal of $100,000. So let's keep going. We'll keep going. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. Question 15. Would you marry Nicole even if it meant you would never? Yes, I do. That answer is true. The 12th truthful answer. Do you go out a lot with your friends? Oh, I used to go clubbing all the time. I love to dance. <laughs> Question 13. Since you've dated Nicole, have you ever given your number to another woman? Yes, I have. That answer is true. Well, that's your 13th truthful answer, so I guess that's a good thing. You are that much closer to $100,000, but now it sort of begs the question, is it worth revealing this stuff for that kind of money? Four more times. And if you're truthful, $25,000 turns into $100,000. What do you want to do? Are we going to play or are we going to stop? Keep going! Keep going! It's up to you, Aaron. I'm gonna go for it. All right. If you win $100,000, that certainly is gonna impact your immediate future, as you've mentioned. Are you happy with where you are in your life right now? Kind of. Um, unfortunately, I'm back home with parents. Question 12. Do you feel like a failure because you had to move back in with your parents? Nicole, you could have stopped that answer. There are things to talk about, obviously, but, you know, I, I. <laughs> Didn't feel like hitting the button. No. Wanted to hear the answer. Yeah. Anything you'd like to say about that? I'd, really, I'd rather not. Okay. You can still stop me before I get to the question. You talked about you were raised uh, as Mormon, right? Yeah. Nicole, are you Mormon? No, I'm Jewish. Is that a challenge for you guys a little bit? Uh, kind of, yeah. Question 14. Do you think your parents dislike your girlfriend, Nicole, because of her religion? Yes, I do. That answer is...